welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new yes i have a shirt on today is my birthday that's why you see balloons back there so if you guessed last week my birthday and piper's birthday and you said the 22nd you were right and you're watching this on the 22nd but nobody guessed piper's birthday right so we're just gonna go with who guessed the grocery total right i already filmed this video i forgot to do an intro so that's why i'm filming it now and we go into walmart and we see what's new and we do a grocery haul. I feel like all I have been doing is Walmart shopping lately and Walmart grocery hauls and what's new at Walmart. But I promise you there's so much more coming. So much more. So stay tuned for that and I hope you enjoy this video. Subscribe if you're new, give it a thumbs up and let's get started. I'm at the Starbucks in my local grocery store and they have these new Starbucks cold to go cup accessory lids. I'm assuming they go with these cups right here, but I'm not 100% sure. Very nice. We got to do the Starbucks shake before we get started looking at this Easter stuff. And then I'm going to head to Walmart. Maybe Aldi first, but I know Walmart for sure. Okay, I remember them having the peanut butter bunnies last year, but not the strawberries and cream. Very interesting. Should I get one? They also have these Russell Stover Itty Bitty Bunnies. I haven't seen those before. Pez Eggs, I'm sure they have those every year. And then look down here. Mystery and Mix M&Ms for Easter. Some Sour Punch Straws for Easter. The best bubble gum of life. So we have the limited edition Neapolitan chocolate Lindors, whatever you call them. These are really good. I have the blueberries and cream at home. I do not remember these from last year though. Ooh, are these new Midnight Fudge Cookie? Hmm, not sure. They have Whoppers, they have Jelly Beans, they have the Chocolate Cream Egg. Now, I don't like the Cadbury Cream Filled Eggs, but these I can get down with. The music right here is so loud, but I found Twizzler Bunnies, never seen those before. We found Decorated Eggs, Marshmallow Peeps, and then the Giant Bunny Peeps. I haven't seen those before. Have they had these before? I can't remember these. They have Sour Patch Jelly Beans, Crunch Eggs. Ooh, the Lemon Kit Kats are back. Smarties. I saw something else new over here I wanted to show y'all. Where's it up? Okay, Mackenzie, you were on the wrong shelf. They have the Junior Eggs Mints, and then the Key Lime Pie M&Ms, and then the Dum Dum Bunny Pops. They take like bunnies, so cool. They also have these this year, the Honey Graham M&Ms, and then they also have these Milk Chocolate Waffle Cone cookie crisps and the dove chocolate Ooh, look mm, i'll get it looks like these are back these are really good i've also never seen these tootsie roll eggs and i think these peeps marshmallow sparkly wild berry are new this year too and i also think these are new because i have not seen those before okay it says those are new over there those are zz's birthday cake soft bars blueberry and lemon and campfire s'mores and then look at the nature valley ones they have lemon poppy seed apple cinnamon and blueberry soft baked muffin bars okay check out these new nutrigrain bars i found strawberry and squash and apple and carrot i just i don't know about these two i do not know these are probably old as dirt, like me. I'm just joking. But chocolate brownie licious chewy bars. I've never seen these. I mean, they don't say new on them, but I've never seen them before. Ooh, big chewy peanut butter chocolate chip. I can never come in Ingles and just look at one thing. I just wanted to look at the Easter stuff and get a coffee. <laughs> you see how that's going. Have you guys seen these energy pack Nature Valley bars? I haven't seen these either. It also says these vanilla chewy bars are new, no sugar. I don't think these are new. I remember these from like last year, but I couldn't find them anywhere. I think I'm gonna grab them here. I never seen these before, but they're probably not new. I saw those at Walmart last week. Ooh, I've seen these, but I haven't been able to find them yet. Frosted Flakes vanilla flavored marshmallows. These are new and they are really good. It's probably like one of my favorite new cereals. And then these are really good too. They came out, I think last year, or maybe it was the cinnamon and oat crunch that came out last year. Yeah, probably this one. And I loved it. Ooh, here's another new one, almond. I'm never gonna get out of the store. Leave it to me to come see what kind of donuts they have. Not that I, I y'all, I've never bought donuts from Ingles ever in my life. And I just decided to come over here and look today while I'm in a rush. It's like 1240 and my grocery pickups from one to two and I still wanna go in Walmart. Wow. What a schlong. Okay, I'm looking at all the crackers and I saw this on Walmart's website that this was new. 
but they were out of stock and I found it here at Ingles, so I'm definitely gonna get it. Also, the lemon mini donuts in the Tasty Cake brand are back. Look what I just found. Sunmade has their own gummies now, peach, and these are tropical punch. So Atkins has like the best, I don't know, I would say the best bars as far as like health-wise, not health-wise, flavor-wise, but I didn't know they had birthday cake bar. Like, I just didn't know. Ooh, vanilla caramel pretzel bar. That's new too. Yes. Yeah. So, have you guys seen these Sours Chicken Seven Pepper Barbecue seasonings? Also, I've never seen these down here. The Famous Dave seasonings. Steak Burger and Rib Rub. Ooh, these look good. I feel like I've heard of the Perfectly Moist Pineapple Supreme, but I don't know if I've heard of the Orange Supreme. An orange cake? Yum. I don't know. How long has this perfectly moist line been out? There's a ton of them. I know y'all don't like that word, some of y'all, but sorry, Mandy. Check this out. Godiva Molten Lava Cakes. Yum. Ooh, I came around the corner and I saw this immediately. I'm like, black shells? But they're actually blue corn taco shells. I love blue corn chips. Okay, are these new? Bean and cheese, street style corn, jalapeno and smoky bacon. What? Okay. Found another new item, this Hershey's chocolate milk. I really wanna try this. All right, we're at the creamer. I'll give y'all a whole scoop of a look. They do have a couple new ones, zero sugar cinnamon roll, the Rice Krispies, the vanilla bean, which is so good. I love it. It's probably one of my new favorites. What else do they have down here? This one, they have the Iris cream. It's saying it's a new item, but I think it's because this was discontinued and then brought back. It makes me want to buy it, but if it's saying it's new, yeah, Irish cream. If it's saying it's new, it's probably going to stay around again for a while, so I'll wait because I have too many creamers. Didn't I say that last time, though? We've got the chocolate caramel over here with zero sugar. Ooh, oat milk, almond milk, all of the ones. Peppermint mocha still out over here. Cinnamon vanilla cream, that one's pretty good. Okay, we've got the almond breeze creamers over here and then the planet oat creamers as well. I still have not tried the coffee cake. Oh yeah, and here is the cookie butter I found here the other day. These are really, really good. I've never tried any of these right here, but this toasted hazelnut looks really good. It is plant-based, zero sugar. Got this one right here. This one, I like this brand. They had the new one here the other day. The um, it was like a green one for St. Patrick's Day. I really wanted to grab it, but I guess it's telling me this time you really don't need any more creamer. Nut pods creamer. Still haven't tried that. We have some of this up here: vanilla and unsweetened better half. Okay, peep the biscuit aisle. Um, it's probably like that where you live too. But they do have this new limited edition peaches and cream flavored cinnamon rolls. Well, I guess they're not cinnamon, they're peaches and cream rolls. All right, so a little bit more of a grocery grocery haul this week. We did actually need food this week. So I got a gallon of milk and keep in mind, some of this stuff is from Ingles, some is from Walmart. I'll tell you which ones. I grabbed these from Ingles for Alex, got some chocolate milk. I wanted to get that Hershey's chocolate milk that I showed you, but I remembered I had this on my Walmart order. I was like, that's just too much for the fridge. Got some iceberg lettuce to make salads. We've really just like been using regular lettuce. We were using the bags, but they seem to go bad really quick. So we just been getting this. And then I got four bananas, two limes. That's a scrawny little lime. Two lemons, peppers. I actually ordered one yellow onion and one white onion. And I ended up with four yellow onions for some reason. I, I don't know how that happened, but um, it was some type of substitute situation. Also got some raspberries, some jalapenos, this massive thing of strawberries that look so delicious, some broccoli, some little baby tomatoes. And look, these are small. They're a lot smaller than I always remember getting them. And then some Stoke cold brew coffee. I actually did not add that to my Walmart order. I didn't think I was gonna need it. But before I left the house, I checked and I definitely needed it. So I grabbed that in Ingles. I just thought about this. I came over here to show you. This is on the other side of my counter. I probably didn't need that cold brew coffee because I have this Wandering Bear coffee. You just like put these open and you pour the coffee through here. You can just sit this in the fridge. Yeah, I love this stuff. So, so freaking good. So definitely try this. Also grab some heavy whipping cream. I got this for Waters Pineapple Mango. I got this garlic Parmesan. I've never had this before. Sam sells the bigger one for actually only 50 cent more, but I couldn't find it at Sam's and I couldn't find it at Walmart. So I got it at Ingles and then I grabbed these. I think I'm going to make like a little, well, I was going to do a crock pot melt. Ooh, look at that 
Look at that date, 2-22-22. Do you think that is a lucky date? Guess what, that's my birthday. So if you guessed the 22nd as my birthday last week on that video, you are correct. But some of you did not guess Piper's birthday. I don't know if anybody got it right. So we may just be doing a giveaway for the grocery total, but a ton of you got my birthday right. I don't think anybody got Piper's right though. Okay, we also got this. I've never seen the four state cheddar. I love the thick pieces, so I got that. Grab this one, and then this is the new fudge cracker pack, sandwiches by Lance. Looks delicious. Got some more chicken noodle soup because Ansley has been eating this like crazy. This was actually a substitution. I got some organic ground nutmeg. I just ordered the small nutmeg, so I'm not complaining about this. Got it for the same price. Also got this two pack of biscuits. They did not have the one pack, but this is fine because I'll use both. Got three packs of the mini bottled waters right here. I got this big jar of petite diced tomatoes for a recipe I'm gonna be making. I got this Nutella for bagels, vanilla, cream, soda, Dr. Pepper, yes. I got these, these are mine and the girls. And I'm pretty sure Alex loves them too. They're our favorite jelly beans that they come out with every year at Easter time. So I grabbed two bags of them because we are fighting over those things. I got some cheese lovers tortellini. I got some Italian style meatballs. We are gonna have meatball subs this week. Got some eggs, got some brioche buns. And then I did end up getting these taco shells that I dropped on the ground at Ingles. Not that it really hurt on them or anything, but I did want to try them. And then I got soft taco shells for the rest of the family because they do not like hard shells. I'm the only one in our family that eat these. Got fudge rounds as like a snack. I got these and Ingles for me because I actually have been craving Girl Scout cookies because I know it's that time of year and I just can't wait any longer. So I got these. Then I got some toothpaste for Alex. I got a fruit by the foot for the girls. And then I got me some more Epsom salt. And I actually got this last week, if you guys remember. I go through a bag of this a week. So it gets kind of expensive over here. I need like a $20 budget every month just for my Epsom salt, okay guys? So if you wanna guess my total, you know the drill. You get coffee on me the following week, whoever comes closest. So leave that down below. Also check in the description box and see if you won last week's total. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.